Ça fait toute une différence, hein? Oui, oui, hein? pas bon avec l'autre. Spécialement quand c'est rare comme ça, là. 1938 Packard. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I think it's an 8. It must be a Packard 8 because this is a smaller Packard. If it was a larger, longer Packard, it would have a, a V12 in it. And what was the expression back in the day for Packard for decades was ask the man who owns one because their cars were so well made. It's too bad the quality didn't last long enough though, really. Uh, it's an 8. Yeah, I can hardly see well. I mean, if you don't know me, I'm visually impaired. Wow, this is really an outstanding restoration. The correct color. Everything looks correct. Look at that. There's your plate there, manufacturer plate. Mind you, it's hard for me to even see that because the sun is like friggin' beating right on me. Packard Motor Car Company. Anyway. Fire it up! Yeah, I like this. There's this little kid beside me. He's all interested. Good for you, kiddo. Don't go along with the crowd. Everybody, muscle cars, muscle cars. All classic cars are interesting and beautiful. It's true. It's like my friend Julian. He's 18. You know, he likes old stuff. He likes old cars, trains, buses. And there's some out there, but not enough, frankly. What do they love the most at that age is video games, you know? Video games, video games, more video games than computers. And the phones, the goddamn phones. Look at that grill. I mean, the grill alone was an icon. It was a sculpture work of art. Just gleaming chrome. And here in Saint Lambert, Quebec, Saint Lambert, Quebec, just south of Montreal. Outstanding how many people are here today. I've never seen so many people here, I think, before. Look at that 67 Toronado, 59 Cadillac, 48 Plymouth. Wouldn't want to lose one of those hubcaps, let me tell you. I like how the dash, it's got the look of a dash from a uh, 46 to 48 Ford. Man, it's really hot today though. I'm glad to be in the shade here for a moment. Well, you don't buy this for power, but mind you, they have a lot of torque though, you know. Oh yeah, and also you still, uh, no, I was going to say there's still rumble, rumble seat, but that's all over. There's the trunk. I got There's so many people here, I got to be careful backing up here even. Ugh. Fantastic, eh? You know, at that time when cars were made, they practically didn't even have model names. That was just starting in the 30s, really. You know, like Roadmaster and Century, and Packard 12, Packard 8, you know? It's funny how much this reminds me of a 40, uh, 39 or 40 Ford I, I filmed uh, years ago at the Beaconsfield show. Isn't that neat how the filter is open like that, eh? That's interesting. It was made like that, eh? Good idea. It lets more air into the carburetor. Works of art. Wow, it's funny that the owner or somebody added these mirrors on there. That's unusual to see that in a car that's been restored so factory stock, you know? I'll see if I can get one last shot of her. Boy, there's so many people taking pictures. You gotta watch it, you know? Let's see here. Nah, it's impossible. I can't do it. Oh, maybe you can. Just for a second. Just for a second would be nice. If there was nobody. There you go. Alright guys, there's your classic car zen moment. Have yourselves a nice day. Adios.